you've just seen how to solve for pH when given the H plus concentration. But what if you wanted to go the other way? What if you know the pH and you want to solve for the H plus? I actually just showed you a little sneak preview of this on the last couple minutes of the previous video there. Uh, so you have to rearrange the equation that pH equals negative log of the H plus. We're basically rearranging that to say H plus equals instead of pH equals. Now remember it's a log base 10. I'm just going to move that negative sign to the other side. And maybe you've learned this in math class, kind of a little like swirl thing here. <laughs> that 10 to the negative pH is going to equal your H plus. And usually when we write concentrations, we don't, just don't do 10 times 10 to the negative pH, but we do 1 times 10 to the something. So that's where you see our other equation here. H plus is going to equal 1 times 10 to the negative pH. If your pH is a whole number, it's really easy because all you have to do is plug in that whole number. So if your pH is 7, your H plus concentration is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 7. If your pH is 4, 1 times 10 to the negative 4. The pH is the power, it is the exponent, and we just want to do the negative pH, so we just flip the sign. What if your pH is not a whole number though? What do you do? We're still gonna use the same equation, but you just can't do the problems in your head anymore. So we're still gonna do one times 10 to the negative pH. So one times 10 to the negative 2.9. The problem is when we write numbers, we typically don't have decimals as exponents. When you Go to type this one in your calculator. Depending on what buttons you're pressing right now, it might give you an error message, especially if you use, there's a little EE button or an EXP button on your calculator. It's like a scientific notation button uh, to, to be able to type in scientific notation numbers a little more quickly. If you use that EE button or EXP button, a lot of times it'll give you an error because it thinks you're typoing. It thinks you're making a mistake because we don't typically write numbers with decimals in exponents. So you have to kind of override your calculator and force it to do the math for you. So you would type in um, for most of you, you have on your calculators like a, a little carrot key maybe, or um, some of you have an X to the Y button. Be on the lookout for those. So you have to type in 1 times 10, a little carrot, or 1 times 10, X to the Y, negative 2.9. Sometimes, depending on the calculator, you, you type in the 2.9 first, then the negative sign takes a little bit of practice. So make sure you're playing along with your calculator and getting the right answers here. But that is what we want. It's just not a properly written number. So we're going to type that into our calculator, and it will give us an answer of 0 0.0013. Now remember, we're calculating a concentration, so this time we've got units. You might see your answer written as 0 0.0013 molar, or you might see the answer written as 1.3 times 10 to the negative third. Either one of those is okay, right? They mean the same exact thing. If we had a pH of 1.8, remember the P and pH stands for power. So the power of our hydrogen is 8.8. We're just gonna flip that sign. When you type in your calculator, 1 times 10 to the negative 8.8, .8, your calculator screen might be filled with a bunch of zeros right now. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros, and then uh, 1, 6 perhaps, or 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9th molar.
Acids have a relatively high concentration of H plus ions in them, and bases are relatively high hydroxide ion concentrations. Sometimes it's more convenient to solve for pOH or OH minus in a problem based on the information given. The calculations work the exact same way as pH and OH minus do. It's just you solve for the log, negative log of the OH minus to get pOH, or 1 times 10 to the negative pOH to get the OH minus. So if we're solving for pOH, we're doing the negative log of those numbers. So negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative third. Well, if you're doing the negative log of 1 times 10 to the something, you can easily solve for logs in your head because it's just saying, what is the exponent? Well, the exponent's negative 3. We want to flip the sign on that. So the answer is just 3. If we have a OH minus concentration where it's not 1 times 10 to the something, it's still the same equation. We just can't do the math in our head anymore. The answer isn't 6. You'd have to type in negative log of 2.38 times 10 to the negative 6 into your calculator, and you'll get an answer of about 5.62. Sorry, that's a crazy look at numbers there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> 5.62. That's better. If your pOH is 2, remember the P and POH stands for power. It's telling you the power of your hydroxide concentration is 2. We just flip the sign on 1 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter. If the POH is 5.13, the power of your hydroxide is 5.13. This is what we want it's just not a properly written number. And so we need our calculator's help. So this is where we would type in our calculator. You kind of have to sometimes force your calculator to do the math for you. So you might have to use your X to the Y button or a caret key. 1 times 10 to the negative 5.13. Have it fix that for you into a properly written number. So you might get one with one, two, three, four, five zeros, and then a seven, four, or 7.4 times 10 to the negative sixth. These are the, oops, these are the exact same answers. Okay. One last little bit. There's a correlation there between pH and pOH two last equations to help correlate uh, pH, pOH, and H plus OH minus that you'll find helpful for this chapter. If you know the pH of a substance plus the pOH of a substance always equals 14, you could use one to solve for the other. So if the pH is 1.78, the pOH would be 14 minus that. You can consider that 14 to be a perfect 14, so in your head it could have infinite zeros. Okay, so 12.22 would be our pOH. And then if you know your H plus and OH minus, they're always going to multiply together to give you a value of 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So if we knew our uh, P, or excuse me, our OH minus concentration was 6.32 times 10 to the negative ninth. We could divide 1 times 10 to the negative 14th by 6.32 times 10 to the negative ninth to get the H plus by itself. And you'd get 0 .0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Or you could also write that as 1.58 times 10 to the negative sixth.